Hi and welcome back to another vlog. So I'm going to mix things up a little bit today. I'm recording the intro uh, in the morning. And the reason being is that I'm at work. Let's get down to business. So let's talk about the forest green green. The forest green green? <laughs> forest green game. Yeah, great game. 4-0 win. But rarely was it deserved. Later on, yes. Uh, but forest green definitely put a fight up. We went one oil up, and up until that moment, the 11th minute, we did dominate. Forest Green were poor, put some really poor passes together. But yeah, we went one nil up uh, after 11 minutes and continued to dominate for a little while longer. However, then Forest Green rarely grown into the game. They did control it, but uh, we did what we do best and rarely defended, and that limited their chances, even though they did have more possession to probably a couple of shots directly at Pim. In the second half, we picked up a second goal and, and it was great to see Tom Nichols get on the score sheet. Uh, you know, his first game for Mansfield, well, first starting game for Mansfield. I know we come on 10 minutes at County uh, and he's already scored, which just shows to show you at Gillingham, it was more of a Gillingham problem than a Tom Nichols problem. So that's great to see. Swan got on the score sheet again, which was good. And, uh, and then Clark, he finished off with that fantastic strike. And going back to that second goal, it's once we scored that, Forest Green's head went down and it was plain sailing from there on. Although they did have uh, a fantastic strike, a uh, really good effort, right near the death of it, just before we fought, uh, scored our fourth goal. Um, but Chrissy Pym made a great save. Yeah, over a kick it was. Uh, Pym made a good reaction save, which was good to see. So yeah, some great goals. And you know what? Mansfield scored some absolutely fantastic goals recently, if you watch them back. Some really good goals in there. So yeah, that's that's something that's it's just great to see. Anyway, let's look forward to uh, Harrogate. Let's talk about Harrogate. This is going to be a difficult game. If I'm honest, I can't remember the last time we won a game on a Tuesday night at Field Mill. It's a bit worrying. I think the key to winning this one is going to be defence. Just keep doing what we do well. Let's defend. Let's keep their shots down to a minimum. Let's not make any silly mistakes at the back. And as long as we do that and we can sneak one or two, that's all we need to do. But Harrogate, we know, is a bogey team. We put that to bed, though, and we'll beat them 4-1 at their place. So let's hopefully keep that corner turned and do him. Harrogate are, though, currently third in the away form table. Now, only Stockport and us, Mansfield, are above them, and Mansfield's at the top. When we look at the home form, Mansfield's in six. It has improved from what it was. I think we dropped down to mid-table at one point. So I think three points today would be massive. It's great to have that cushion as well. We've got that cushion where regardless of the result, we'll still be in second after today. But let's keep that cushion and let's get them three points. Would I take a draw? Potentially. Would I love all three? Absolutely. So for you, the next thing you're going to see is down at the ground. But for me, I've got a shift to do at work. Anyway. Come on, you stags. Right, Josh, the music's quite loud, so you're going to have to speak up a little bit, but we're here on a miserable Tuesday night. How are you feeling? A bit mixed. I don't know if it's been a win. Yeah. Well, that leads nicely onto my next question. What is your score prediction today? 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Well, obviously, uh, the starting lineup's looking pretty decent. Cluffy's made a few changes. What do you think of changes, Josh? Yeah, voting started. How do you feel about that? I can't remember the last time we started. Yeah. We're about five minutes for kick off. That's what Harrogate's for. Run by me a few more. Oh no, we're not. We're a bit closer. Goals. Here comes the side.
to do is not do what we did at Forest Green where we dropped off when we went 1-0 up. Let's keep up this tempo, let's keep up this pace and skill and let's take it to him. Josh, it's half time. There's a lot to unpack here. First and foremost, Boateng. A little bit of hesitation for some fans of him starting. Scored two goals. Absolutely fantastic. How are the results going? Amazing. The best thing to go for us. Maybe start to get a draw or something. Tighten that down. Yeah. Going where we've got Baron for a screen draw. Yeah. We're playing really well, obviously. We've been really clinical for once. Harrogate, I think, have probably been, been quite poor. To be fair. Not seeing this coming, it's absolutely unbelievable. Five great goals. If you've got to go for one, Josh, which one would you pick out? It's got to be Botex. Yes. It has Antic, definitely. Absolutely. Although well, it was nice when Nichols scored. It's yeah. got a lot like Aiken split to him. Yeah. And Nichols, second time on the score sheet. Two games he started and he's already scored twice and he's only scored once when he was Gillingham so that reiterates the point I made earlier. So absolutely positive, it'd be great if we could get some more goals but the main thing for me now is clean sheet, absolutely. Wrexham's 0-0, let's hope uh, that stays that way or we'll be playing Sutton Nick one with him but who knows. Um, I'm not bothered about automatic. Uh, I'm not bothered about. I am bothered about automatic. I'm not bothered about the top spot, and I really hope uh, crew. And uh, sorry, support pull it back, draw. But regardless, we've still got that buffer as it stands. The results are kind of going our way, but it's another half of football. So let's see how it goes on. 
Right, we're just about to kick off second half. A couple of changes. Looks like Reed and Nichols has come off. And Swan and um, Maris has come off. Let's get into it. Kicked off. Second half.
everybody's coming out now, you're watching the goals. But if you have to pick one of the goals, Josh, out of all nine, whose would you pick would be in the best? Swan's first one. Swan's first one, it was Cork, one tick top right and corner at net, an absolute belter. Guys, like I said earlier on, it's been a fantastic game. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this vlog, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment, let us know what you think, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Right, with all that said and done, it's been a cracking game, but let's keep this run going now. We're at Walsall away on Saturday, which I will be doing a vlog, so uh, hang about for that one. Right, guys, thank you very much, and we'll see you at the next match. Come on, you stags.